Okay, welcome to an unboxing video. Uh, this is not for me, this is someone else. I'm starting my Christmas shopping early uh, this year, and, uh, and I encourage everyone watching to do the same. If you wait till the last minute this year, you may not get your stuff in time. Now, um, the reason I'm uh, unboxing this on camera is twofold. Number one, people seem to really enjoy watching this kind of stuff, so I'm happy to, sh to share this with others. And, and number two, I, I want to document the unboxing for some sort of uh, proof uh, that I can show uh, manufacturers and or sellers if uh, the goods arrive damaged. Um, that's just something I do for my own satisfaction, but uh, let's jump into this. Uh, I'll tell you who this is for after we get it out of the package, all right? Okay. Of course, I know you can't really see what I'm doing right now. That's all right. I'll probably end up putting the box on the floor. And, uh, I'm trying to, to ease it out of here. And I'm not going to do, to do anything with this. I'm just going to make sure that it's undamaged. There we go. And, uh, okay. Comes with a little certificate of authenticity. Fuzzy. I had no doubt it was authentic. But it's upon the seller. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't know if I want to take it out of here or not because of of the uh, of the packaging. Uh, it looks fine to me. Uh, I don't see any damage, but let's just go ahead and give you a close up look at this. This would be the best way to, to approach this, and then I'll explain to you why I purchased this. Okay. It's a little countertop Pac-Man video game. Uh, it actually has two games on it, a, a racing arcade game. Uh, these are very popular, retro video game cabinets. Um, you can, of course, get these full size, but, uh, you know, we don't have room for something like that here anyway, so a little half size one, I thought, with a, I think it's got an 8-inch screen on it. should be, should be perfectly ad adequate. comes with, uh, yeah, a certificate of authenticity. This is a limited supply too. Uh, I don't think that means anything. Um, this will this will be well used, I think. Um, but this is this will all just go back in the packaging. You know, this plugs into the wall. Thank God it's not battery powered. I'm so sick of battery powered electronics that should plug into the wall, as we <laughs> well know. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and put this back in the package and pause the video here, and I'll tell you a little story. Okay, so like I said. Uh, uh, this this Pac-Man game is not for me, although I have no doubt I'll, I'll get some use out of it. It's it's for my mom, um, who is uh, 70 years old and who has played exactly one video game in her entire life, and that was Pac-Man. Uh, back in the early 80s, uh, I was gifted a uh, an Atari 2600, which came with the infamously bad uh, Pac-Man game, which I thought it was fine. I mean, it's... It, it, it did exactly what it said on the box, you know. It, it just it wasn't the same game as the uh, arcade Pac-Man. Uh, the, the sales on those Pac-Man games were so low that they ended up burying millions of them or thousands of them in the, uh, in the desert for several years. And those were, and that was a myth. You know, people said, oh, those, that didn't really happen. That's just an urban myth. Well, turns out it did. And uh, there were you know, thousands of Pac-Man games and E.T. games, which is also an abysmally bad Atari game, and, and several others. So those actually did exist, but the, the point here is that um, uh, this is the one video game uh, that my mom can get her head around and, and likes. And you know, I wanted to, to do something special for her this Christmas because she's had a, a, a rough year. Now I know we all have folks, but you know, back in uh, last November, she was in a terrible automobile accident that uh, you know took her several months to to, to to convalesce from that. And of course. You know, I lost my friend a, a couple of months ago. Well, he was her friend as well. So it, it's just been a terrible uh, a year for her. And I, I want to do everything I can to make this Christmas special. And, uh, of course, she's a, a University of Alabama fan, uh, despite the fact that I went to the University of Tennessee. That's always been a, a running uh, uh, joke conflict in, in the family. But I always get her uh, uh, some sort of uh, Alabama-themed uh, clothing, Crimson Tide clothing. Uh, it's to the point now where I'm going to have to have her lay out all her uh, uh, Alabama uh, clothes and take photos of them so I cannot uh, 
make a mistake and, and pick up something she already has. But over the past several years, every time she's seen uh, a Pac-Man arcade console on TV, on a Shop at Home channel, or elsewhere, she's she's always commented, uh, I'd like to have one of those. Well, this uh, little countertop version, uh, yeah, finally the perfect solution for uh, our accommodation. Now, I'm not going to get this out and, and set it up until Christmas. So I, I can't give a review of the product. I'll do that at a later time. Um, there are other... Um, consoles out there, uh, arcade, countertop arcade consoles just like this, except, you know, for games like Galaga, uh, Dig Dug, Mrs. Pac-Man or Ms. Pac-Man, and, and some other classic, uh, I think Namco is the company, perhaps, that uh, put out those early arcade games. Um, there are some out there that contain several uh, different old arcade games that are probably actually emulators built inside the console. I'm sure that's what this is well, but there's only two games on this. Uh, hopefully the, the the quality of construction is suitable. I won't know that until we get it set up. But I just wanted... One of the reasons I wanted to open the box was to confirm that it was in there and it was undamaged. And it, it looks fine. Uh, again, I'm afraid if I take it completely out of the box, I won't be able to get it back in the box properly for, uh, for wrapping. So, But anyway, Pac-Man is a game that doesn't require a whole lot of hand-eye coordination with multiple buttons. With Pac-Man, you're simply manipulating the joystick. And uh, I can vividly remember when I was around five, six years old, she would, you know, spend quite a bit of time, of what little free time she had as, as a homemaker, um, uh, playing Pac-Man. Uh, back when video games in the home were, were a, a new thing, you know. So I hope she, she enjoys this. I don't really know where she's going to put it, but that's not my problem. <laughs> you know? It certainly can't go in this room because there's simply, I'm trying to make more room in here. I mean, sure, it could go on this table, but then... I mean, there's a there's a video game on top of the table, and you know I can't play any board games at that point. It is portable, and that's part of the uh, uh, the appeal. It can go on top of a, a, a table, a, a kitchen table, if it must. But I hope she enjoys it, and I'm sure I'll get a kick out of it as well. Um, the point is, I thought viewers would get a, a real kick out of me disclosing with you that I purchased uh, a 1980s video game arcade console for a seven year old woman. You know, welcome to 2021. I mean, in retrospect, that is one of the least crazy things to happen in the past couple of years. But we'll see this again in a couple months out of the box. I'll, I might even uh, turn it on here and try to play a game with the camera uh, pointed at it or something. Like I said, you can get these uh, that are about the same size as a, a vintage arcade cabinet, but they're super expensive. Uh, this was a much more reasonably priced. The irony, of course, is you can play Pac-Man on your computer or your your mobile device for, for free if you look hard enough. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, and this is a, a lesson that we all should take to heart, I suppose, uh, it's not about practicality or the price you pay, but the thought uh, that counts the most. Well, chaps, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.